Welcome to RTS Confessions with Miko Gattuso, a magnetic, intense actor and ex-criminal whose unforgettable turn as Mouse in the TV show Euphoria catapulted him into an amazing new life. We had a great time. We talked about Zendaya's off-screen persona, his journey from street life to acting, his commitment to celibacy, his personal growth as a man, and all the grimy stuff he did back when he was living the life of a New York City goon. Enjoy. RTS Confessions, real true we have Johnny Gaffney here in the peanut gallery. And we're here with Miko Gattuso, street legend, reformed goon. And as you may remember, actor who played Mouse, a major villain on the HBO show Euphoria. How did you come to be on that show? This is how this went down. Sam Levinson, director of um, Euphoria, was home. And it just so happened he was watching the first movie that I ever did, which was called Give Me the Loot, directed by Adam Leon. He said, man, I watched this movie called Give Me the Loot. Um, and there was this guy with a lot of tattoos on his face, and man, he would be perfect for Mouse, but I don't know how to get a hold of this cat. And it just so happened to be the casting director of Give Me the Loot was there and said, well, I might not be able to get a hold of him, but I might be able to get a hold of somebody that knows how to get a hold of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how it started. Next yeah. thing you know, I got a call from Adam, boom, psh, hey, yo, listen, this is where I boom, boom. You were not an actor for a long time. You were a street guy. How did the transition happen? Transition happened was that I wanted to change my life. You're, you're here from New York, you're from the Bronx? I'm from the Bronx. I was born in Manhattan, Spanish Harlem, and Mount Sinai Hospital. Um, I fell for all the traps that everybody else falls for, you know, coming from the hood. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's inevitable, right? Yeah. The, the word I'm trying to look for is like, you, you're bound to make these mistakes because it was designed for you to fail. Yeah, I, I fell for all the traps, you know, gang banging, the, you know, trying to hustle the, the, you know, lie, cheat, and the thief type shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? How far was it from you deciding, you know what, acting? That's something that I think I could do. So you actually getting in, give me well, the loop, which I was believe, like kind of your big break was I that. believe I've been doing, I've always wanted to be, I, I know I was here for purpose. Like I, I knew that my purpose was bigger than just living the life I was living back then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you would've asked me, oh, you could, you could be in a movie, I'd have been like, come on, it's yeah. one in a million. It's yeah. never gonna happen, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But you um, wanted that at that age? Let's, let's, let's do a confession real quick. One of the best movies in my life was Grease. <laughs> Facts. At Nothing the time growing about. up, I never told anybody. Only my family knew because they would look at me and like, oh, look at this guy, Grease, <laughs> singing and, and, you know, the songs. And I was like, come on, man. <laughs> bobble, bobble, loop, bobble, bobble, bobble. Like, we, ain't, we ain't doing that. And I remember I, I had hair that was pretty much size. And, and, and I would, when I was in my room, I, I spent a lot of time in front of the mirror mm. playing the guitar. I didn't know how to play the guitar, but... I love taking it, looking in the mirror with my DA boom, and, and I'm playing the songs, and I really thought at the time I was John Travolta. <laughs> and then when I would be finished, I would put my hair back down. Yeah. So I could be able to go outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody wore DA coming from where I was coming from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that, that was it. And now things have changed for you so much that like you were late coming here because people just stop you on the street. They're like, oh my God, like you were great as mouse and all that Yo, shit. it was crazy. <laughs> it, it, the love was crazy. Is it normal for you to get bombarded like that? Because yeah, it was a small role, like a bit part, but you have those face tats that make you so recognizable. Like people will instantly remember your face. I get, if I'm downtown, yeah, I get yeah. stopped a lot. If I'm yeah, downtown, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I get, I get stopped everywhere, but there's days I have my moments and there's some times where I think another thing is, People are afraid to ask me. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, should we ask him? Yeah. Can we ask him? <laughs> is he gonna kill nah, us? Nah, he probably <laughs> kill us. Like, the number one thing that I get is like, come on. You know, you just played yourself. You didn't have to really do nothing. Yeah. And I look at them and you know, I ain't probably right, but it hurts me because, nah. That, that's the thing, it's like, what are the tricks you've learned as an actor? Cause like you had to have actually learned like the art and the craft of acting. Like what are the tricks that you've learned to be an oh, actor? I would lock myself in the bathroom, hours. Like, this is for real, like, like people just think like I just went on stage and I don't know, my man, like, I encourage everybody to learn your lines. I've seen people like, oh, I gotta learn my lines, and they learned them, but they didn't really learn them. Yeah. You know it, but you don't really You gotta it. know it so well that you're not yeah. thinking of the yeah, lines. Yeah, exactly, yeah. so if I when, I, when I did Euphoria, believe me, man, months, months. 
that, that if you ask me, I did it on a drop of dough, I could sing it, I could scream it, I could slow it down fast, do whatever I want to do, I was able to do it because I knew it. That's crucial. That's of course crucial. it's crucial. So people were just thinking like, no, man, you got to put your work in. And they don't know you have to. If you're not, you're not going to be prepared. Yeah. If I wasn't prepared before I got there, it would have never worked. Beyond learning the lines, what are the tricks that you've learned? Is, is there anything beyond? Is that, is that 90% of it? I'm, I have this thing where, where like, I got to make my presence felt. I don't care who's here. Yeah. I'm here. And no disrespect to all the actors, because that's how it was with Zendaya. I, like, I don't care who Zendaya is. I never met her, but listen, it's going down. See what I mean? Yeah. But with Zendaya, she's amazing, man, because... And, and don't get it twisted, man. I learned from everybody. I'm a student of the game. Everybody, oh, he thinks he knows. No, 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 man. I'm a student of the game. Like, right now, I'm learning. I'm learning from you. I'm learning from him. I'm learning from her. And... The things that I don't want, I put to the side, but the things that I think is crucial for, my, for me to be, be better as an actor, I take. Yeah. And one thing that I do now is I make people feel comfortable. So when I got there, yeah, I was not nervous, but I was uncomfortable because, hey, this is a girl, you know what I'm saying, half my age. I got daughter, you know, I got a son that, you know, her age. And, 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 you know, I got daughters, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't think she was ready for, for I don't care, like, she wasn't ready for, my type of acting, I, I guess, because it was so real. People, okay. they, listen, this is a true story, man. When, when, when I got to LA the first time, I was ready to go. So we on set, <laughs> I'm like, man, come on, man, I'm gonna shut it down. And I remember, rah, I, rah, and he, Sam Levinson pulled me to the side and said, listen, you know, mouse, you don't need to do all of that. Your presence is, is gonna, is gonna, you know, sew this whole thing up. And he said, hey, let's wrap it up and we could continue tomorrow. So I was, ah, man, we done? So I went back to the thing and I came back, but I remember what he told me. And then we came back and I'm acting, you know, doing my thing. And he's like, remember what you did yesterday? Yeah, do it now. <laughs> yeah, pin drop. Everybody was just like, what the fuck? And when they, you know, it's crazy because they they yell cut, and my, when they yell cut, that smoke break for me. Mm. So I'm out to go smoke break, and my while we was doing the scene, my phone was ringing, not ringing them, it was on vibrate. I'm like, damn, who is? It's Jennifer Van Dien. She's like, yo, whatever you're doing, continue doing that. Every producer from Euphoria has called me already, saying, wow, thank you so much. We got this amazing guy. I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. But as I was walking to go smoke my cereal, everybody was just looking at me like, <laughs> this shit is going to be crazy. And I felt it. So, you know, well, course, I mean, that's the thing. You got to think, these are people that have been in the industry yeah. for so long. You coming in blew all of them away. Yeah, blew them all like, away. And what was crazy was that Zendaya was, I was like, yo, you know, because I had to run the spot. Zendaya said, Zendaya, listen, like, like, you know, are you good? She's like, I'm good. What is she really like? Amazing. Yeah. She's a queen. Let me tell you, she, she made me five she's, grand. She's a superstar. You talking to a cat from the hood, my nigga, that, you know, money is not like, the, the, you know, I ain't got a million dollars. So she disappears. One day, I'm like, damn, Zendaya, we had these walkies where I could call Zendaya. I'm like, yo, Zen, you know, everything's all right. I'm coming to the set right now, boom, 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 whatever, you know what I mean? And um, not that I used it, because I was like, I don't want her to think that I'm, you know, like, stalking or anything with the walkie. Hey, Zendaya, what's up? What you doing? Where you at? You want to come hang out? I wasn't doing that. <laughs> but at one point, I got concerned because I was saying, what do you mean she's missing? Like, like, <laughs> like you know, but he, this is a queen, like. So now everybody's running around with their head, you know, heads cut off, like, you know, you know, and and I'm saying, damn, but let me, you know, let me make sure she's all right. Right, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, you know, what's going on? She's like, hey, listen, I'm, I'm gonna take a couple of days off. That she can do that. I couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Stop, take a couple of days off, don't worry. Every day that I'm gone, you're gonna get a thousand dollars. I'm like, thousand dollars, girl. So now that just Stop the whole conversation. All right, cool. So I'm thinking in my head, like, $1,000? Is this for real? Is this really happening? Can I really get $1,000? First day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, she comes back. I got $5,000. That's dope. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? So... And like, I respect like, you for, for actually having I the knowledge to do I think at the time, that. hold yeah. on. At the time, it was, um, what was her name? 
the girl who plays in um um Sydney Sweeney. That kind of dissed her in the, the, for the Met Gala wearing her outfit. Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go. Man, I had, yo, Lindsay Lohan ever come to the hood? She better be careful. <laughs> <laughs> because, nah, not for nothing, my nigga, like, 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 you disrespect Zendaya, I'm coming for you. Wait, she disrespected Zendaya? Yeah, she did. She, she just said something, oh, my friend wore that outfit uh, the, the, the last year at the gala. I'm like, man, shit. Jealousy. Like, Jealousy. you know what I mean? And, when you hurt one of mine, my nigga, I'm gonna come after you. I don't care. I might never see you, but you know what I'm saying? My daughter's out here. My wife's going at it. Like, what? You bugging, boy. Yeah, so it was like, like, like you, you go against one of mine, especially somebody that has my best interest, my man, that's family. I'm gonna shut you down. She got a goon. She's not alone. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, 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 that's, that's. But she's like, she has that star quality. Like, you could just see it. Well, when, when she, when I saw her, I'm like, where's the day? This is girl wrinkle ass shirt. <laughs> she had this wrinkle ass shirt, hair all messed up. I'm talking about shit. It was bananas. It was like I was like, I mean, I can't be her. So I'm like looking over this way, and then she comes and it's her. She had these little short shorts. She had no socks, no slippers, no sneakers. She was just walking barefoot, messed up hair. I'm like, is it there? And so that's how I met her, you know, like that. And um. Yeah, she, she, you know, it's crazy too. Well, why did that, she take the couple days off? Huh? Why did she take the couple days off? I, you know, I'm not gonna add it. She's a queen. She can do that. She's yeah. why executive producer. I don't know. She's like, she's the, she's, she's the goat, man. Well, like, I respect her for like doing that because, like, as an actor, like, you need to be like, your head needs to be right. And if like something's not right and she knows she needs to take a couple days off to, to even like, actually have the courage to do that, honestly, to tell everyone, hey, like, don't worry, I'm going to pay you out, but, like, I need to take a break because, nah, like, to work listen, on Listen, when I tell you, Zendaya does what she wants. She is a queen. You can't tell a queen, hey, listen, you can't go over. She's a queen. Everything stops when she, like, like, but she has, she is so humble that, like, okay, no problem, whatever you need. Like, she, how you say that? How you say that word? She, I wouldn't have it no other way, man, like for her, because she earned that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She's at a point where, like, my man, like, come on, she, she, she did. You know it. what I'm saying? This girl's a queen. Yeah. So, you know, if she told me to go run, nigga, I'm running around the block three times. I don't know. <laughs> but that's just the, yeah. that's the extent of her, yeah. her, her yeah. wanting to be, yeah. you wanting to be loyal. Yeah. Because she, she's legit, man. Yeah. She, she ain't no, I've never worked with somebody that, that like, come on. Yeah. You know what I mean? And especially, you seen the, 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 come on, I'm grabbing her, my man, like, come here. You know, I'm putting money right where her, her my man, the, like, you know what I mean? Like, she's amazing, man. I, I don't know what else. She's half woman, half amazing. Yeah. Thanks. Those scenes were, like, terrifying. And, like, when I was watching it, I was watching it with people, and we, like, weren't breathing during those scenes. How did you get to such a, like, a deep, dark place? Like, how did you become Mouse? One thing is that I knew my line. Because there was one line that, that kind of kind of messed me up. But you know what's crazy? When you have Sam Levinson genius. I was called a genius by Sam Levinson. I'm like, it's mm. bugging up. God told me I'm a genius. Come on. But um, I just, you know, I just knew that I, I can't fuck this up. You get one shot, one opportunity, man. Yeah. I could have been acting all this. This is HBO. Yeah. This is, this is, you know, it was crazy because every time they yell cut, right? There was this dude that would go sit in my chair. And then he's on his co fan camera, he's on his phone, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm like, I come back and he he was, you know, get off my chair, and then he'll go, what? So I'm like, what's wrong with this guy? I, you know, I don't know, like. And I haven't met him yet, so I'm like, what the fuck is going on? The fact that I went out again to get, and I said, yo, and I'm telling people, I'm like, yo, look at this guy, watch, 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 he's gonna jump in my seat right now. And it's like, what's he doing? Like, that? he was actually getting paid just to sit in my seat. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. I'm like, man, I'm in the wrong job. <laughs> I could do this all day. You know what I'm saying? But 
when you get to HBO, everything is money, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, like they day it took a couple of days off and you know, boom, I got paid. Yeah. Everything is different. You need snow. They got snow to make it snow. They got yeah. rain to make yeah. it rain. They have everything that they need. So much money. You know money. what I'm saying? So yeah. This is bigger than these independent films that I'm doing that, yeah. damn, this is crazy. So, matter of fact, it was like, it takes eight months to a year just to edit an independent film, right? Yeah. Here, they're editing as you're going. That's great. You go yeah. to the next room, you got 50, 20 guys in there doing things. Yeah. You got people writing as we going along. Okay, you know what? We ain't going to go with that. Let's go with this one. Boom. Take that. They're on point. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm saying this is, this is like going to, to you know, the D League to, 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 you know, NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm an NBA, and either you got two things that are going to happen. Either you're going to do it or you're not. Mm. You're going to go home empty-handed yeah. or you're going to come home with the, with, 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 yeah. you know, with, with the, with the goal yeah. or whatever you call it, with the NBA championship. But it couldn't have all just been, like, you just, like, showing up and just bringing it out of nowhere. Like, you were in the streets. You must have known guys of like course. that. Of yeah. course. I mean, every every... Every character that I play, I take from my past. Yeah. I want if, if I have to be a menacing person, I go, I go, and, and I think of the things that happened in yeah. my life that almost took my life. Or, you were you were a legend in your hood. Hmm? That's what you you were. You're like a, a street legend in your. Oh hood. man, yeah. yeah. I'm tired of people telling me that when I'm going outside and I'm in the hood, like, you're a legend. Yo, can I get a picture? Boom. Especially you in the club and he's drunk. It's like, yo. I'm like, okay, They're they saying you're a legend now because you're on TV or were you no, a legend because no, of the work I'm a you legend, but now I'm even more of a legend because how I transformed the street into what yeah. I'm doing. Now. What made you a legend then? The streets? Yeah. It's always, you know, my, my, my loyalty, uh, um, you know, never changing as far as, you know, I'm not no snitch. I'm not no, I'm not no sucker. I don't do sucker Integrity. shit. Integrity. Uh, uh, um, and when it comes to, 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 to hood shit, you know, yeah, my name ring bells. I, I mean, figure it out, man. I've been in gunfights. I've been in, I've been in everything. Yeah. Did you have to be a dark character like, like Mouse back? Were you a character like that? I was, yeah. Yeah. I would. I mean, you told me even like kidnapping, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. What was that? What was that story? You know, it's crazy because you know I think of the stories now when I say, "Man, I did that. How the fuck did I get away? How did how did that happen?" You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I, you know, I was. You know what I'm saying? I I, I did, and yeah. um, you had to though. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. just did it so well. Who did you kidnap? I think what well, the problem was, it was, it was, it was it, <laughs> the problem was it was um, a, a brother of mine was he was a Santo to 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 the gang at the time. Um, he got into some uh, some beef and some fighting in Orchard Beach, and um, we got a call and, and why oh shit and we all ran out there and then boom it just so happened the person that was with him watching him being his BG. Ran on him. That's a no-no. So, his bodyguard. So, so or it's, his it's like gang. this. Like right now, we all. What do you mean, BG? Bodyguard. Okay. So, so, it, so it's this like, guy's in your camp. Yeah, in, in our camp. You okay. know, say so he ran on, and because it was just so many people. But I get that now. Like you see, twenty people. Like your first instant is like, I'm out of here. But you know what I'm saying? When you in this game, it's like you can't run. Hmm. Now you run, and now look what happened. What now, happened? Now you, somebody's gonna have to see you. Yeah. You just ran on somebody that you was bodyguarding. Yeah. What you think there was gonna be no repercussions? You think there was gonna be no consequences? Yeah. Yeah, my man. So, so that that's what it was. Fortunately. So wait, wait. So uh, how did you kidnap this guy? Well, it wasn't say. Well, say yes, yeah, kidnapping. Um, we we rode around with him in the trunk, in the car. You know what I'm saying? You approached well, him. You well, what? You well, like? You, know, you just like. Stomped yeah, him, trunk, tied him up, trunk, tied him up. How you hog you you hog tied the guy? Beat the shit out of him, plain and simple. Um, with rope? Huh? How'd you tie him up? No, he was in the car. He ain't you just, you just get throw him back ass in, in the fucking trunk. <laughs> he got in the trunk, no problem. He, you know, I would have got into the trunk, no problem. Yeah. But see, you never gonna catch me. I'm not running. You got to kill yeah. me. Well, they have they have like 
levers in there, like so you can get out if someone puts nah, you in not, a truck. Nah, not this is years ago, man. Yeah. This, is, this is way. This is more than twenty something years ago. Yeah, twenty five years ago. Yeah. Um. Let me explain something. That, 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 and this is why I tell a lot of people that within my circle now that you know, saying, listen, mind what you do, especially around me, because if you're around me. And say, if you, we go downstairs and you get into some shit, instances you pop in because you with me, I'm going to jump in. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if there's 50 of them. We're going to fight. I, we might not win. Of course, we're not going to win, but they're going to have to kill me. I'm going to die. And I don't want to die now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know? Um, I just, I just beat an attempted murder charge two years ago. The kid that was with me happened to be my sister's boo at the time, like somebody she mad and boom, 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 boom. Now he comes from where I come from, right? So now I see the kid that I had beef with and we get it on. He jumped in. Now I didn't ask him to jump in, but I understand. See what I'm saying? I understand what you did. Now, I could have easily got this charge, but in order for me to do that, I would have to snitch on this kid. It's not happening. Yeah. Now, get mind you, I could be going to jail. Yeah. I can't do that. This is not in my DNA. Yeah. I can't do that. And why I tell you why, why is because you never know when I have to go to jail again. Right. See what I'm saying? They, I don't give a fuck. You, you ain't going to find no paperwork yeah. on me. Yeah. And there's a lot of guys out here that's on paper that if they go to jail, it's the last time they're not going to see coming out. Yeah. You know, that's just integrity, right? But like, I know that there are rules that gangs try to instill in you that are just bullshit. And like, are what are the things that you were taught back then that you've just learned as an adult that's that's mature that's like, fuck that, like that was stupid? Well, you know, and, and a lot of the gangs, you know, you have to follow all orders given to you by your superior, right? I'm yeah. pretty sure if, you're, you know, if your superior says, go do this and go do that, nine times out of 10, that's what you're gonna do. That's whack. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. If he tells me to go kill her right now, like, I'm not doing that. But you have there's a lot of kids that that they're ignorant. They yeah. they don't know what's best for them, and they can't they can't read between the lines, and they'll go do that. There's yeah. half the prison jails right now are filled up with cats that are that 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 were in gangs that don't need really needed to be there because yeah. it wasn't their fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just because the leaders had power. We're going to use these kids to fight our, our beefs. And next thing you know, they go beef, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Get, somebody gets shot, boom. He's in jail. And the dude that really had the beef is still out here chilling. Yeah. It's corny. Yeah. So, you like, what, what's the worst thing you did at that time? The thing that you're, like, you look back on, like, that man, I can't believe I did that. I robbed a lot of people, man. And, you know. Yeah. Um, but I... Yeah, I robbed a lot of people, man. Yeah. I set up a lot of people. You set up a lot of people. Friendly extortion. How would how would something like that go down? Just like now, you know, we friends, we hitting it off, right? Boom, hey yo, man, I think yo, bop, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yo, I just met these white people. <laughs> Chick, dude, dude, he live over here, they doing movies, we got equipment, we can get this, that, that, that. We could do a home invasion, get all this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just off a friendly story. Hey, so hey, smiling. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yo, boop, boop, boop. You, you, just like that, easy. So you just walk in. Yeah. So you just go friendly extortion. Yeah, friendly extortion. Because you're assuming that I'm a good dude. Yeah. Oh, shit, it's Miko. Come on, let him in. Next thing you know, I'm coming in. I got goons tying yeah. you up, putting it in the bathroom, all of y'all. And then we chilling, eating popcorn, watching shit, <laughs> shit. And then, and then, and then, okay, pack everything up. We gotta go. <laughs> it's funny, but it was true. You did that shit. Yes. You did like that exact. You tie people up in their own home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. I'm, well, I mean, you know, I'm not. I, Hey, we know we're we're, we're gonna just put a disclaimer. This is no. Not what you I'm now, saying you know? is, I, I you know I want the truth because this is this for real. Um, I still bug out and be like, I did that. Hmm. Yeah. You know, um, it hurts yeah. because that's how real this shit is. When 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 you come from where I come from, 
These kids are falling like flies. You know what I'm saying? And now the, the, the youth is killing each other like they ain't no tomorrow. It's not a game. I was a part of that. I helped build that. And it sucks. So right now, everything that I did wrong, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make amends for and trying to, it's the reason why I, if a youth call me, I don't care where you at, I'm coming. Because he deserves that. You fuck him out of, to, to do all the shit that I did and think that I, I don't have an obligation to, to the youth and trying to help them better themselves because I did. I finally say, okay, man, I'm awake. Now I need to wake y'all up. I need y'all to be awake because this shit is designed for us to fail. You're designed to, you're de it's designed for you to go to jail. It's designed for you not to reach that, 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 that part of your life when you, you wake up and say, man, I can do this, and really, really feel it like I believe. Mm -hmm. They don't yeah. believe. Yeah. Was there a moment where you made that switch? Yeah. I did the moment, okay, to, to bring it a little further, is that the moment I, I was with myself. I was like myself. Facts. Why? Because I was hustling drugs. You know what I mean? Years I hustled drugs and killed my community and killed the people. And I didn't really, I didn't understand, like, what's the problem? They're going to do it anyway. I had all the excuses. All the excuses. And there was a time when I don't think that I have the power to stop. I like it. Mm. That's not on me. Until all of a sudden, now I got both sides of the fence. I know it is to sell drugs to my community, but now God spank you. Say, okay, you know, you think because you're not a stupid man, but I got to show you. And now I'm addicted to the same drugs I was selling. Mm. And I can't stop. Right. Yeah. How, you know how hard it is? You see, look at euphoria. I believe euphoria... The reason I got this role and, and Sam Levinson saw because this was meant to be because I have a story to tell and, 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 and we have to show what these kids, you know, like the yeah. parents don't know yeah. what these kids are really doing behind their backs. Yeah. I just found out niggas is getting high on ketamine. I need a K, it's called a K. That's horse tranquilizer. Hey, I don't know, I'm just saying, you know, I'm pretty sure y'all probably know what ketamine is. Oh yeah. Right? You know what's even more crazier? I was at the, um, fuck it, I'm gonna say this shit. But it, it was struck me all because I was at a fashion, after party fashion show. And somebody asked me, you know where to get hard. You would think that, not here, not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This white boy asked me, you know where I can get hard. Random now, shit? Random Hard guy? Crack. Random, random person. No, well, he's not random because he's looking at me like, oh, I could ask him. Yeah. He'll, and then I wouldn't know. I do know. It's all over the hood. <laughs> all you gotta do is take a ride with me. Yeah. What do you say to him? I told him, no, I don't know any, I, you know, at first, you know, I try to play it off because he asked me the same thing, K. So, you know, that's how real this shit is. And, how real it is is that they're getting younger and younger. Yeah, yeah. My daughter's 11 years old. If I'm not on her ass and, and you know what I'm saying, or my son's ass, just like that. Oh, let me, let me, not, let me not be on the ass today and boom, next thing you know. Yeah. And it'll be a while before I realize, oh shit, my daughter's on drugs. How did you get the name Miko? Miko is... um. In Colombian, that's Monkey. So my nickname is Monkey. My, my squad, my crew was 12 MKZ. That's 12 monkeys. That's why I got the 12 on my neck. I took 12 kids off the street. And um, we had a little team, and it was called 12 MKZ, and we all hustled. Hmm. So I taught 12 kids how to hustle in the street. Where are those kids now? <sighs> Some are in jail doing a lot of time. Some are doing very well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's and then there's good. some that just, you know, having a hard time in life. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, you saw a lot in those days. Like, do you have, like, PTSD or anything like that? Um, yeah. <laughs> what? 
Yeah, I have a, I have a lot of um, um, PTSD. Uh, I can't see dishes in the sink <laughs> without, without me washing them. So if I'm at your house and I see some dishes in the sink, I'm going to wash Why them. Why is that PTSD? Why? Because, you know, growing up, I didn't know what the kitchen would feel like or be like because I've never been in the kitchen. Why? Because I came from a grandmother that didn't allow us in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? So when my mom, mother um, got married, um, she married a Marine. Cat that woke up five in the morning, did jogging, came home. You know, he, he's one of those guys. And um, he hated the fact that I would eat a dish or I would eat, eat something and I would just place my dish in the sink. And um, he would get on my ass, wake me up. I like, I wash the dishes. So we would fight a lot. And my mother came up with this amazing idea and she got paper plates. She bought a whole year of paper plates. And I was like, <laughs> wow, amazing. Like, that's an amazing thing, mom. Thank you. And um, one day I'm coming from school and, you know, my, 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 my meal that I would eat coming from school, I love Chef Bardi, beefaroni, spaghetti and meatballs, but I also love making tuna fish, two tuna fish sandwiches along with that. Boom, I was straight. And I go look for the paper plates and they weren't there. So I'm looking all over the house. They're not there. So what happened to the paper plates? He must have either threw them out or hid them. And now I'm forced to fucking wash these dishes. Because he wanted you to learn to wash dishes. Yeah. Um, so he would like scream, like drill sergeant shit. He yeah, like scream yeah, yeah. No at lie. You. Swear to God. No <laughs> lie. Yo. And then he was a police officer. You know what's crazy? My stepfather was a police officer. He became a detective. So very much, that's crazy. Yeah. From where I'm coming from. So that gave you trauma. Of course it gave me trauma because... Here I come from Spanish Harlem. I'm a goon. Like, like we, we, Rob still just had to survive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got kids now. Yeah, I got kids. So you got a daughter and a son? A daughter and a son. My son's not talking to me. You know Why not? Saying? Why not? He a little, he little bitch. <laughs> he a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? My son, he don't know what we had to go through in order for him to do the shit that he's doing now. Japan. Fuck Japan. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I'm just saying, listen, I don't give a fuck about Paris, nothing, if it ain't, it ain't happening right here. I ain't got no money to take, go to Japan or Paris. That's out of, my, out of my shit, you know what I mean? What are you talking so, about? Hmm? What are you talking about, Japan? Meaning, like, he don't know what it took for, for, for his father to get out the hole that he was in that it was impossible to get out of. I got out of there. You don't know what it took to get me, to get you to where you at right now. That you in college, nigga. You in college. We didn't have the opportunity to go to college. If they would have gave me college, my nigga, I would shut them down. I wouldn't even be here right now. I'd probably been doing something creative bigger than life. And I always said that because I was always a go-getter. You know what I'm saying? And I said, man, this community, I already was ahead of my time. And if somebody would give me the opportunity to go to college, it been a wrap. I would shut him down. So wait, what, why do you think he's not uh, appreciative? I, I can explain it. You know why I, t I think, too, is uh, I, it's, some of it's my fault. I gave him choice. Me and his mother gave him choice, and that backfired on us. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? How to backfire? Meaning, if my son at 12 years old didn't want to go to his grandmother, he don't want to go. He don't want to go. Don't force him. Yeah. It hurts me now. Yeah. No, no, get your ass up, get dressed, and take your ass to your grandmother's house. So how does that affect him negatively Yeah, because now? now it's like, that nigga's like, I'm not going. What the fuck am I going to say? I can't beat the shit out of him. I, I, what the fuck are you doing? So what happened was, I called him and said, hey, listen, it's 11.30 a.m. It's your grandmother's birthday. Give, him a, give her a call before, you know, it gets late and wish her happy birthday. Here's the fight. Okay, pal, no problem. Time goes by, I'm with my, 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 my mom, my aunt. Cause his aunt, my mom died, so my aunt raised me. So she's my mother. So he only knows my aunt as grandma. Mm. So I'm with my aunt, she's like, I said, did Matthew call you? She says, no, it's a quarter to 11 at night. What I did was call him, yo, what the fuck you doing? And call your grandmother, I already told you this, click. He broke down. So 
He calls her. He texts her, oh, I did something better, and you didn't have to scream at me. And I did something better, I did a video. All right, cool, no problem. Next day, I'm calling him, and I can't get through to him. I didn't say nothing. The next day, I'm like, damn, why he's not picking up his phone? Why he keeps going? This kid blocked me. Now he tells his baby moms, my baby mom's calling me, oh, you know, you, you insulted him. And I'm like, what? You got to say sorry. I'm not saying sorry. If he broke down because I yelled at him, and it was just to yeah. call his grandmother. Yeah. What the real world's going to do to this yeah. little nigga? You're, you're different than him, though, right? Of course, but... In what ways? I, I know the street. He don't, he don't know nothing about no street. This kid think he's Japanese. He's studying Japanese literature. I'll give two shits about Japanese literature. Fucker, you know what I mean? He thinks he's Japanese the just because The most thing I know is about fucking Samurai and you were watching back in the days on Channel 5 and Channel 11 when they used to have the karate move, movies that they yeah, would show. Yeah, yeah. Two at a time. That's most I do. But do you kind of do you kind of wish that your son had gone through the streets like you had? Because there are some lessons. No, I wouldn't put that on any kid. Yeah, I don't want. But but wait. So I need he, him to what, understand though that that this is where we come from. How does he think he's Japanese other than studying the Japanese literature? Well, I just really believe that my son thinks he's. Um, I think that he's really a born again person, a person that 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 in another lifetime. I, I really believe, like, what, what else? Like, what can, first of all, my son's gay, right? And um, I love my son. It's his imagination that thought that I wouldn't love him anymore. I, I don't know. He went through a hard transition. And I'm sorry, you know, I'm speaking, whether he might like it or not, whatever. But... He put himself through a lot of misery mm. because he kept it from me. I, listen, we had two, listen, he don't know his grandmother at one point was gay. That I was raised with my moms and she, I, before she met my stepfather, she was gay. So how did your son come out to you? He didn't. I was like, yo, my man, like, if you got something, tell me, tell me. Like, get this shit over with. Be a man. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, but... Ain't nobody wearing a motherfucking choker where I come from. You got you wearing a choker, nigga. That's for girls. Oh, it's, it's 2023. Oh, I gotta I mean, say, you barking at him like that probably didn't make it easier for him to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Instagram. I got my son singers wearing black eyeliner. He got choker on. Yeah. What's so that, my what's thing that was, mean to you? my thing was. If you gotta say something, say it. Why are you wasting time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's that mean to you? Him but then, and then, then he said it to you. Well, if he's gay, then I can understand. But if you're not, yo, my man, something not right here. We're not doing this. You're allowed to be gay, but not a crossdresser. Well, you gotta understand where I come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that downtown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can do that. Hey, listen, man, I see it all the time. But you ain't gonna see those same kids walking around and, and, and fucking sound of you in the practice. You're not gonna see that. It's gonna cause you hell, my man. And before you cause me hell, because I'm gonna kill somebody. Mm. If they disrespect mine, you my son. And it's gonna hurt me if somebody disrespects you because they disrespected me. I will kill somebody. He don't understand that fact. That's all for all my kids. That, that, that was the reason why I, was at the, I had an attempted murder charge. You go against any of one of my kids, nigga, I'm going to kill you. Facts. You say anything out your face about mine, I'm going to hurt you. That's just facts. Ain't no other way to put it, my man. What more? And, and, you know, and I'll deal with the consequences. But because I believe that I, me being aligned with my, my higher power and being righteous, I beat that attempted murder charge. Why? Because, nigga, you coming after mine, my, my, my kids, my nigga, that don't even can't defend themselves. Nigga, I'm coming for you. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. got to learn that. First of all, you're not supposed to disrespect any kid. Hey, all kids are God's creation, God, everything. But you get some cats where I come from that little stupid and think that this gangster shit, they really got down packed until they meet a nigga that really gangster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because now all of a sudden, damn, you call the cops on me? I thought you was a gangster, nigga. Right. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now, now you're telling her I try to kill you? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold up. I don't get this. Yeah. 
So, so that's, that's the problem. So my thing is, I was blessed and fortunate enough that I didn't have my son. He knows how to take care of himself. That's good. Um, um, my son's very intelligent. His, his English is superb. He's like, I bug out. I'm like, God damn, like, you know what I mean? He's an intelligent kid. You know what I'm saying? He's going to go far. What, what do you wish your son understood about you that he doesn't? He don't know that I changed, changed because of him. This facts. Let me tell you a story before his graduation. You know how you graduate and you in the auditorium and all the kids are in the back with their classes and the family. So I got up and then I said, let me go take a picture of my son. And I went. He was hiding from me. He didn't want none of his friends to know that I was his father. He had all these tattoos. What I thought was cool in the hood, he thought was like, like ignorance, uh, mm. ratchet. Uh, mm. and, and in a way, I didn't understand that at first because it hurt me. He said that to your face? No, he didn't say, he don't know this story. But I know I saw him and I act like I didn't see him. He was hiding from me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I'm not introduced to any of his friends or anything like that because all his friends are white and, and very, very, uh, you know, a different type of, you know what I'm saying? He ain't come from where I come from. So he don't find chilling on the corner, the smoke of blood, and all that. he don't find that cool. He goes to school, he learns, like, 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 I'll be bugged out. One thing about my son, I never had to force him to do anything in order for him to make it to the next level and, and, and just doing things good. He did that on there. He wanted to go to college. Shit, I thought I'd have a problem like, yo, hey, you going to college? Shit, he's going to college with it. I didn't have to push him. Um, right now, he blocked me on Instagram, so I don't mm. see the stuff. But sometimes I get in a family function and my cousin's wife was like, oh, did you see Matthew? And she's showing me on Instagram and he has a boyfriend now. And it hurts me because I'm like, he thinks that I'm not, you know what I mean? But I changed. I changed for him. Yeah. That day I said, okay, That's big. I got to change so that he could be proud of me. But now I feel like I'm on, I'm on set with Zendaya, my nigga. Like, <laughs> I'm yo, Zendaya, can you talk to my son? I'm calling, ah, ah, don't, don't put on the phone. I'm not, like, this guy's crazy. I'm like, I thought you want to talk to Zendaya, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, but, so like, he might see this. So like, what message do you want to say to him? Like, if he sees this, you know, you you talking about him, like. Papi, I love you. That's it, you know what I'm saying? I'm your father, you know what I'm saying? Um, certain things that I just can't do, man. Just for, your, 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 just for you and your better you that you're trying to become. I want that. Don't think that I want the worst for you. I want the best for you, man. Um, And I changed a lot, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, you know, just give me a chance, you know? Um, but I'm not gonna force nothing, I don't force nothing. If that's that's what you feel, yeah, man, I still love you, I ain't going nowhere. That's it, man, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta keep it moving. Yeah. So, you know, one of the things you told me on the phone, which I thought was like really vulnerable and cool is that, you know, people look at you and they expect you to be a certain way, this tough guy, but you told me that you're celibate. You don't have sex. And you haven't in years, right? Yeah. Well, again, too, I want to um, let me rephrase the, the celibate thing because I used to think that being celibate was not having sex, but I do have sex, but I just have sex with myself. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, um, and I got used to it. Um, I just think that, that, that um, if I would have been with a woman or in a relationship or having sex and, and, and you know, feelings would have got involved, I wouldn't be where I am today. Because all the drama. All the drama that comes along with it. Uh, what kind of women were you messing with? Well, just, you know, just, it, 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 it doesn't matter whether, because I've dated, or, or at, how do you say that word? Ethnic. Ethnicities. Ethnicity, right? Not just ethnicity, but like personality-wise, like dramatic. Yeah, dramatic. Well, well, the girls I were attracting were, you know, very insecure about themselves. So, you know what I'm saying? And I could understand why, because at the time, I remember, you know, I did everything that a normal kid and, and teenager and adult would do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, 
it's it's until I you know I changed my life. You know what I'm saying? And um, and like I let's bring it back to me wanting to kill myself and um because of certain things that I couldn't stop doing because I didn't have the power. And what I mean by the power is um my first bid, my first jail bid is um was because I didn't have the power to walk away. Let me show him. I, I gotta show him. Yeah. Instead of me walking away and saying, you know what, I already know where this is going to lead up to. I know what I'm capable of doing, but I have to show you. Uh-huh. I didn't have the power just to say, you know what, keep it moving. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Um, so a lot of it is to deal with power. Um, and as I was going through that, like, you know, not dating and, and not having sex, um, a lot of other things came just came out, I, you know, how can I say this? Like, I learned from it, you know what I'm saying? Why? Because um, I didn't think that it was possible to get out of where I was at. I was so much in a dark hole that if you would ask anybody, oh, he ain't gonna make it out of this one. It's a rap for him, you know what I mean? And um, I got out of it, but I had to put in the footwork. I had to put in the, the thing. I wanted to change my life, and um, I remember getting on my knees and asking God, like, yo, listen, you can move mountains. And I remember him, he didn't say it in words, but I felt he just, well, what you gonna do for me? Hmm. What you gonna do for me? If I, if I snap my finger and take this, all this shit away from me, what are you gonna do for me? I said, I'm gonna be a better father. Take the addiction away from you. My addiction. You know, it's crazy because I didn't ask for money. I didn't ask for fame. I said, just take away my addiction and let me show you. And women were a part of that addiction. Yeah, because I didn't know, I didn't know how to be with one person. So you were like a ladies man. And love that person and and still have women. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of men out there that have a woman that, and they're married, and this, that, and third, and he still steps out on her. Right, yeah. I can't understand you that were now. You a cheater. Huh? You were a cheater back then. I was very much a cheater. Yeah. But I loved my, my wife, but I was a cheater. Yeah. I'm not going to leave her for the, the girl, but I'm still a cheater. What right? was making you go, if you had a wife that you cared about, what was making you step out on her? The idea of just the, the hood, that's what we do. Like, you know, like when, listen, there was a time when I never sold drugs, you know, and then I started selling drugs and next to all of a sudden, along with the selling drugs came this persona, this person, this, like, you know, it came along with, oh, bad women and, and money and, and, and jewelry and popping bottles and this and that. And I wasn't getting that at home. It's like, you can't do that with, with, with your wife and, and certain things. Um, and because I wasn't brought up that way, I lost myself. And, and what I mean by that is when you start treating, I don't want to use this word, but I don't know what else. It's like chicken heads. They call it chicken heads. You ever heard that word, chicken heads? So what happened was I started treating my chicken heads like they were my wife. And I was treating my wife like she was my chicken head. Uh, that's- when that happens, you guys start wondering, like, what the yeah. fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's sad because back then, you go to the club, right? And I had it. I would, I would buy out the bar, like nigga, like nigga. I want all the Moet bottles you got. It's ten. I want all of them. So I just, you know, what I mean? that alone with the women around that were part of that lifestyle, they're watching. And believe it, I tell you, man, it, it wasn't. It wasn't that difficult to get a woman to go home with you. You know what I'm saying? I was getting women just on a bracelet alone. All I got to do is just do this and, you know what I'm saying, and pop like, hey, next thing you know, I got a woman. So those are the women I was attracting, yeah. and you think that something good out of that, that was going to come yeah. out of that? No, it wasn't, what you know what I'm saying? Um, what bad came out of that? What bad came out of it was that I lost my baby mom. I love this woman. Yeah. But I didn't have the power to stop. But couldn't you now, like, treat a woman right and not oh, do that? Listen, I treat all women like queens. Let me explain something to you, and it's funny because I have friends that, that, that are in this entertainment building, and I tell them, I, I tell them before it happens. I said, Papi, you can't date all these women, you know what I'm saying? You can't do this and then think nothing's going to come back to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to yeah, tell yeah. you this from facts, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have a lot of women friends that are young, 
23, 20, as low as 22 years old, my man. I'm 51 years old. Don't get twisted. And everybody, if I'm with her or they're in my video, oh, he's fucking her. He's this. He's doing that. Oh, poor girl. Poor this. And I'm like, why people think that of me? But they wonder how I get all these women just to come on my Instagram and how they, they do this because I'm a good dude. You treat them with respect. I treat them with respect. And you're never going to get... Me trying to get in your pants, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to happen. You could go try to dig up whatever you can within my career, it's not going to happen. Yeah. I treat all women royalty. You know what I'm saying? That's just me now. You know what I'm saying? When I do find the and, I, and get, don't get it twisted, I dated a woman a couple, uh, 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 two years ago, and we lasted for a year, and I was, I was distraught, my nigga, because I was, I was in love with her. But she was insecure. She didn't believe that I was in love with her. And she couldn't understand why. She just thought that everybody that had in my Instagram, like, yeah, he's trying to talk to her. And I'm like, nah, my, if, you know, it came a time when I stopped taking pictures with pe women or pe people. Because I said, well, you know, because you have to compromise too. You know what I'm saying? I said, you know, I understand that, you know, because I believe in beauty cells. You know what I'm saying? Beauty cells. You know, if I got a woman and she's beautiful in my Instagram, of course. We go, oh, she, 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 she. I do. You know what I'm saying? But it's a difference. It's, you know, you know, it's, it's beauty. It's not that I'm trying to get with her and cool her down and then treat her and bash her and then go on to the next one. It's not my style. And, and that's something that if I did in the past, I no longer do now. And I haven't been doing that for Many years. So when was the last time you had sex with a woman? Two years ago. Two years ago. The last woman that I was with. And are you more at peace than you were before? <sighs> Don't get it twisted, man. You know, it gets lonely, too. I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? Um, I really believe... I don't know why I'm going to say this, because, you know... But I really believe that, that my higher power won't allow me to to be with anybody right now as much as I might want to, right? Um, because you would just assume, like, oh, shit, Euphoria, HBO, mouse. Like, I, you would think that I have women, like, all the time, like, hey, we, we, you know, even trying to rap to me, it, it, it could even be in good, good circumstances where, like, oh, you know, I, I like her, man, you know, boom, boom, it's just... It just never works. It never happens. I don't get that. Yeah. Nobody's, oh, they, they, they're not breaking down my door trying to get to me. Yeah. Um, and I really believe that because. Um, um, but regardless of like cheating on your wife, like how would the women in your life sidetrack you? Well, that's, that was before, you know, I don't know now, like when I dated this girl, man, um, I was, I was ready to marry her. She didn't know this. She doesn't know this. Well, if she watches the interview, she'll know now. She was going to be it. See, you got to understand how I look at things. Now is, there's no time to waste, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate everything. And, and what I mean by that is, like, there was a time when I didn't even believe that I could hold my promise to my higher power because... Every month it was like, I got money. I was like, I'm gonna get a pack. I'm gonna sling that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double that. And blah, blah, blah. And then for some reason, I never did it. Right? And then the next month comes, like, I'm gonna take this money. I'm gonna blow it. Because I didn't know where my money was coming from afterwards. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I remember getting these, these, this tattoo. It says, God's hands. Shut to the camera. God's hands. So, with God's hands, can I. You would think that I have fights and I beat up people every day, right? I don't. That's the farthest thing from my mind. It's to do bodily harm to anybody. And it's become easier. And it becomes easier and the more consistent you are with it and the more consistent you with, with treating women and treating anybody, any human being with just how human beings should be, you know, be treated. It gets easier. One door opens up, next door opens up, and if I knew the shit I know now, if I knew if I knew the shit I knew now back then, oh man, there was no telling where I'd be right now. I'd be on top of the world. Yeah. But fortunately, you know, at the end of the day, but I'm still awake, I'm still alive, I'm still aware yeah. that oh shit. So of course I'm gonna continue doing this. I'm gonna continue this this route and continue this way of being because it works for me. Yeah. 
See what I'm saying? Before it was ego and this and macho and, and nigga, you know what I, mean? I don't care no more. So I could walk and somebody could get in some shit, I have the power to be like, okay, that's how you feel, let me keep it moving. And yeah, everybody there was like, oh, that nigga's a sucker, he just walked away. I really don't give two shits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I made it home. That's the, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. You know, yeah, I, I've been celibate for a lot of years. I, I, I think what? Damn, man, going on since the time I started acting, do I miss it? Hell yeah. But um, I have the power. You know what I'm saying? Um, majority, like my team, because I got a team called the Dream Team, a lot of them are women. And every one of them, everybody like, oh, you with her? Who you talking to? Who's that one? Yo, she's fly. She's pretty. And no. First of all, I don't talk to anybody within the same circle. And, and just don't do that. Yeah. Some people do. I don't. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why I, I don't have a problem with women saying, okay, I'll meet you. Yeah. Let's go over here. Oh, 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 just come to the house. Yeah. Come to the house. The house. You should, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come, come. Yeah. How did you get to the house? Because... And they feel that energy. So I'm, I'm not here to, to destroy you or take you and just get some ass and then keep it moving. It's, it's, I'm, there's more to life than just that. I, I did all of that too, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm getting old. So when you look at 51, you got to look at it and say, and say, I got 20 years. Because at 70, yeah, you're going to live life, but it's not, you really want to turn it down a little bit. I got 20 years left. When you really look at we were 19. Yeah. Protect those. 19 years before I'm 70, and then I got another 10 years before I reach 80, if I make it that far. Yeah. So, I ain't got too much time left. So, if I do get with a female, of course she's going to be my last yeah. one. People don't believe that. Yo, I get the next woman that I'm going to be with, I'm going to marry her. And I'm going to spend the rest of my life with her. There's one other thing that you talked about, like, being an actor, having your face out, there's a lot for you to adjust to, right? And like, there's certain things that like, you know, you gotta like know your body and like there's certain parts of us that's like, have been hard like to get through, like being on camera. Like what, what's been a struggle for you like being on camera? Struggle for me is that, you know, first of all, I locked myself into the bathroom for many of hours knowing what's my good side, what's my bad side, what not to do, what, what to do, so that when you see me on camera, you get the best of me. You know what I'm saying? I don't think people do that. Um, along with my journey, in my younger years, I destroyed my body. Facts. Drugs, this, not eating healthy, this, that, and third. So um, when I came into this new thing of acting and, and seeing myself, um, my teeth, you know what I mean? I got fucked up teeth. My teeth all falling out, plain and simple. It's, that's the confession everybody knows. I had to work in that bathroom knowing how to talk without showing them. I don't mind showing while, you know what I mean, while I'm out and about, but when I'm in front of that camera, you can't see because people are cool. But you just look like a real person. Like, it's not like you have like veneers like an actor. That's what makes you good at like, that's why people actually want to hire you because you don't have perfect teeth. You know what I mean? Well, they wouldn't expect well, your character to have perfect teeth. You know, they wouldn't see them. And believe me when I tell you, man. I, you know, I remember going euphoria and I had just lost another two. I was like, yo, my nigga, this is a wrap. Right now, that's one of my highest things that's always on my mind. How am I going to do this? What happens is all my shit just fall out. I'm just saying, I'm 51, you know, I did. I, I you know, people are cruel. Mm. It's one thing about this, people are cruel, man. And um, I remember- People bully you about it? Hmm? People like- Well, if you on Instagram, believe me when I tell you, man, I think my first viral video was with casting over the rapper. He's in jail now doing life. You know, I, I, you know, I told him, man, I said, yo, man, you gotta, you know, Sad, man, you know, you can, you got to get away from the hood if you want to try to do this, you know what I mean? You got to evolve, man. You can't try to bring the whole hood with you. It's just not going to work. Um, I did a viral video with him, and I remember he had, he had, a hat, I had a hat on already, right? So I'm happy because I'm chilling, I'm chilling with Cash. My nigga, we on, doing video, boom, boom. 
He gave me a hat to, you know, to wear. So I put the hat on top of the other hat I had on. Not knowing. So I'm doing the video not realizing I had two hats on. And, you know, and at that time, I wasn't as aware of how I speak and, and you know what I'm saying? So I would just be all out there. And then people would say, boom, this, that, and third, you know? And I remember as the, viral, the, the video was going viral, Everybody was calling me, oh shit, yo, I see your family was calling me, like, yo, I just seen Miko, he was on the, the thing with Cash, oh shit, like, it, like, it was, like, unbelievable, and I remember going home, like, wow, oh shit, like, the numbers just kept going, it just kept going, I'm like, wow, like, this is crazy, but I was reading the comment, the comment, and People are cool, you know. When was like, yo, look at, oh, look at, you got two dad hats on, like, you know what I'm saying? Or, oh, you know, and some of the comments were geared toward my teeth. You know what I mean? Yeah, it hurt. I'm not gonna lie, it hurt. Yeah. That's why I always tell people, like, yo, listen. That's what people aren't prepared for when they start being on camera. Is yeah, so, so, of course, um, it hurt. It hurt a lot. Yeah. But it's not gonna hurt me to a point where I'm gonna stop what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't allow nothing to stop me. I don't give a fuck my teeth, the way I look, if, I, if, if I'm underweight, overweight, I don't give a fuck. That's one reason why I don't do like, you know, like, oh, you got to start doing push-ups. No, I'm not, I'm not that type of actor. Yeah. I'm not going to be trying to get my body in gear for another movie. No, I'm not doing that. Oh, no, but how are you going to get there? I don't care. I'm, I'm just going to be me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with your teeth, like you said, one of them's almost going to go. You're almost going to go. Right, right now, I'm, you know... I'm trying to work shit out. Like I, I, I got, I got friends that are calling dentists. Like, yo, let's do it, do a, 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 a plan. You know, maybe I could do something for y'all, and, and and in return, you could help me get my, 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 my. Cause it's like thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, what people don't realize that is what veneers. Not veneers, like um, um, implants. Oh, okay. So if I get the I implants for the for the, for the for the top and the bottom, like thirty thousand. Yeah, that shit's expensive. That shit's. And that's not a lot of money because I made that money before, but what people don't realize. Honestly, if you invested in that and got yourself like some permanent goals, like on the bottom row or something, that could help you get roles too. Because then you would really like have a look that was really good to have for yeah, the characters you know, that you play. Because I had a friend that wanted to give me money to do, get gold. I said, I don't need gold. First of all, I'm out that stage. I'm 51 years old. Yeah, but you're playing. It's for your acting. It doesn't matter. You see, what people don't realize, God has put me into... My first movie, I had tattoos, right? Second movie, I, I did, I had tattoos, right? Now people are saying, well, what more roles can he get, right? I get euphoria. Oh, shit, I blew up. Pow, boom. Nobody said that I would do better than euphoria. I just got nominated for the movie that I just did, which was called Queen of Glory. You know what I'm saying? I gave you a sensitive side. When you go on to the, 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 and I'm not one to do that, but the people that, the critics, yeah. Ryan Tomatoes, everything. Go look at the comments. Yeah. This guy, Miko got two, so he, he's like an onion. He, he, he got layers. And I'm like, who the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> but it's true. I got nominated not just for, for the Spirit yeah. Award, but I Becca. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is huge. Yeah. Now, I'm showing you a different side of just a machine up bang, bang dude, right? Yeah. Now, boom. I got a movie coming out in July. No tattoos. Oh, they, they use makeup? I got a, I got a, what they call that shit? The, the, um, what, regardless, I got, I got no tattoos. That means they have special effects artists yeah. come in. And we took hours. Not only my face, my neck, my, my arms, my stomach, all the way down to here. And it was genius. You know why? Because nobody's going to expect that. Yeah. So now, what it's going to give for the other directors saying, damn, because if somebody did want me, oh, but he got tattoos, the first thing they're going to say is, oh, it's going to be just too much drama, too much shit. Let's just move on to the next actor. This movie is going to say, nah. But what took us hours the next day after that, being that we knew the, 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 the mixture and everything, it took us two hours. You know what I'm saying? I think the last day we did it, it took us an hour and a half because she already knew what she had to do. Yeah. Right? It's going to give other people like, yeah, let's get them. It, it, it don't cost that much. So how did it come full circle with your teeth? Like, are you just at peace with it and you're just like, this is who I'm not at peace with it. Believe me, I'm far from at peace with it. I just don't... I don't know everything, man. I'm a student in the game. One thing about this is, man, I'm learning as I go. And um, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. And, and, and it's crunch time. 
I just need people that really believe in me. Say, okay, man, I got a friend of mine that will do this on GP. Boom. See, what they don't understand is that you took a guy from the hood, right? I didn't know about four, what's that shit, four, two, K, yeah, 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 you know, take it from your four, one, or whatever the fuck. I didn't know, I haven't did a return tax thing since I was, first of all, let me tell you something. It took me 17 years, 17 years. Two years ago, I got my ID, my birth certificate, and my social security card. So that means that's how far off the grid I was. I didn't have that. Because I didn't need it. Yeah. Now I'm becoming an actor. Now I'm on paper. Now I owe money, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't think I came in this game like, oh, everything was good. No, I came in this game owing money. 80000 at one point. Yeah. And with the attempted murder charge, which God and I was aligned with, this man got me a lawsuit. Right? I'm like, oh, something get lost. Oh, shit. Boom, boom. They took the money. And I brought it down to like 70-something. I brought it down to 65 right now. I do what I can do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Am I going to pay? I don't have no idea. You know what I'm saying? But I'm becoming a part of society now. We're trying to find my strong points, my weak points. And, you know, at one point I was going to be a cab driver. I was thinking of jobs to, you know, maintain myself yeah. and move forward in this new me. And I said, well, give me a week. And I came back, so I'm going to be an actor. Not that they laughed. They did laugh, but they didn't laugh because to them and to everybody else, it's like, that's not going to happen. Mm. Where did that thought come from? I always knew, like, I used to watch movies and say, damn, I could do what he does. I could do what he does. Why not me? That's when the laws of attraction came in. You know, you vision it, you see it, you retain it. I started going to sleep. Visioning myself on TV, visioning myself in the movies, visioning myself. And next thing you know, once you keep, once you keep doing good, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and trying to be right and you're aligned with your higher power, it's just a matter of time before somebody says something that you might take as like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Now, nah, wait, hold up, let me go. That might be, that might be a sign. And I took that sign and said, okay, I'm going. And I went, boom. And You're getting the proof every day. I mean, people are stopping you in the street, right? People are stopping you in the yeah. street. It's not stopping with you for, you're not on that show anymore, but it, the momentum is up. Like the momentum is not what it was then. Like only yeah, 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 bigger and better yeah, yeah, yeah. things are going to happen. That's how it works. But what was crazy is that wherever I went and that could be a room full of actors, directors, whatever it may be. I'm that dude. Like, 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 there's something about him. You know what I mean? Everybody got, my job is to make everybody gravitate toward me. Yeah. You're not going to gravitate toward me if my, my spirit is evil or got some type of, you know what I'm saying? So they gravitate me because they feel it. They feel it. And I feel it. And that's how I, I work with people. If I don't feel that energy, I'm not coming. I don't care what you got. You could have the best iPod, tripod or podcast in the world. I'm not going. If you show me one thing, like you could, you could scream that her right now or some shit, I won't come. I've lost friends. This is facts, my nigga. I've lost friends. They introduced me to their wife. Hey, how you doing? Pleasure. Next thing you know, boom, we had an event and you bring me, you bring some other chick. Can't I'm going to tell you, say, yo, listen, ever do that again, my man, because I'm not, I'm not going to lie for you. And he's like, what the fuck? I'm not lying for you. Have you been in a situation? Picture me at 51 years old lying. I'm not a liar. But have you ever been put in that position? Yes, many times. And you, you, just told, you just told it like... Yeah, they didn't believe me. And now they're trying to get back in. You can, once you're out of my circle, it's going to take a miracle for you to come back in my circle. Yeah. And they get it now, and they didn't believe it. It says, yeah, but, but, but yo, my man, no. Can't do that because your energy is going to destroy the energy that I created. And I'm family orientated. It's family orientated. Like that's, you know, I'm about kids. I'm, so if I'm about kids, how can I have a dude that's doing the shit that he's doing and people know, and I don't say nothing? No, my man, I love you, 
I wish you get it right. You know what I mean? But it's not your time right now. And then I change. I'm I'm the weirdo. I'm the this. I'm the okay, keep it moving. And then another another month come. Now people are telling me, yo, you know what's in there trying to, you know, say he miss you, and yeah. You got my number. But you scared to call me because you know I don't tolerate the bullshit, man. Yeah. Plain and simple, I don't tolerate the bullshit. Inspiring man. stuff, man. Thank you so much for coming in. Like everything you said, like not only was it confessional, but I think a lot of people are going to actually be inspired and want to get out. I hope so, man. This was the longest um, interview I've done. Uh, um, um, and thank you. I think I touched a lot of ground, man, which I wanted to get out there, man. Um, you know, 